live and alert on the north side of the dirt. It's your man D-Real coming at you with another Be Real with D-Real where entertainment explains it. What we explaining got you, man? Number two. See that better? Yeah. Give it a little angle. Got you, man, number two. Uh, last time we left them, they were in a rather precarious situation. Story by Cullen Bunn, art by Chris Batista, and there's a lot of other people we're going to give some props to when we get on into the story. But before we do that, let's do what we need to do so we can do what we want to do. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. To be real with D-Real Pay, so that when the material comes out, you get it. If you're digging with a brother, show put some dirt in my bucket. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. Why? 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 Entertainment explains it. Now, for all you fans of nostalgia, like me, fans of nostalgia that love Gotcha Man, this is a Gotcha Man story torn straight off your television screen. We got a giant sundew. That's the thing that traps insects until they just dissolve and die. Uh, it traps material. It can use it as weapon. It can use it as armor. Um, very destructive, as you would expect a giant mecha to be. So here we go. Gotcha, man. Issue two. Colin Bunn, Chris Batista, writer and artist, Carlos Lopez, Buddy Bedoin, colorist and letterer, Chaz Pangburn, Camilio Sanchez, editor and book designer, and cover artists, Inaki Miranda for cover A, Sanford Green for cover B. Sanford Green? Oh, my goodness. Um, and Francine Delgado for a retail incentive cover. All righty, let's get to it. We start with a very somber note. It's Mara. She's back at headquarters, and she's looking at Ken's helmet and outfit, wondering if he's going to make it back. Oh, girl on the B team got feelings for Ken. But right now, Ken can't study none of that. Ken is getting all he can handle with the rest of the Science Ninja team in the Phoenix getting tossed around by the Sundew. And as we've noted, as Rio says, it's got us, can't shake free. It's nearly indestructible. Nearly. Bear that in mind. But it's being put to the test. And Ken, of course, comes up with, if we can't break free, let's burn free. Ooh, y'all know what that means, nostalgia fans. Might be the only way. Meanwhile, scientists are getting kidnapped because someone is infiltrating their security detail, where they work, what they do, what have you. And she's pretty adequate at what she does, isn't she? Of course, she's got to be Galactor. Yeah. And I like how they could just whip their mask and everything else off in one fell swoop. That's it's very mysterious and alien. Got it. Okay, so back to the action. We can't wait anymore. We're getting our asses kicked. Let's go on ahead and release the Fiery Phoenix, or as they like to call it in this book here, Science Ninja Technique, Firebird. And they gave a whole cover's worth to it, or page worth, excuse me. That is the Firebird burning and breaking loose from the sundew. Of course, the villains inside are pissed off. They didn't destroy it. They just did damage to the sundew. And, and as the commander's finding out from Bird Katza, they do that sometimes. They're slippery, but we accomplish our primary mission, return to headquarters for further orders. Meanwhile, Gotcha Man is basically doing the same thing. Jinpei wants to go after him, but Dr. Nambu comes on the screen like, nah, get your butts back here. And so they get back there, and Ken is greeted with a big old hug from Mara. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. More on that story as it develops. And here's Dr. Nambu explaining to them that the Sundew is nothing but a distraction because their real mission is to kidnap scientists. And we know where they're going to be hit next. 
So, Joe, hot headed, let's blow him up. Nah, Ken's like, I got a different idea. And Burkata is just celebrating. Everything is going to plan. We're snatching scientists. And we find out that the devil stars are these ladies that like to kidnap scientists or the Galactor. And they want to know who they kidnapping next. And so Burkata is like, be patient. I'll let you know in a little bit. But as we find out, he is supporting it to the imperious leader. And he says, I got an idea what I want to do. And the leader is like, no, you don't do nothing. I tell everybody what they supposed to be doing around here. And here we get to meet scientist uh, Emmy Aoki, who is working at the Advanced Space Research Facility. If that don't sound like a ripe target for the sun, do I don't know what is. And sure enough, look, an alarm. It's the target. Moving on, there the commander is. I don't like all that spying around. I like to crush stuff. See, he's the one that's going to get blown up first. Mark my words. Um, And here comes the phoenix on scene. And they're like, how did they get here so quick? All right, let's mix it up. But Ken's a strategist. Remember, that's one of his primary uh, 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 skills is strategist. Meanwhile, Dr. Aoki is being spirited out by this blonde haired young lady who, yes, of course, turns out to be one of the devil stars. <laughs> Big surprise. But again, like I said, nostalgia. But surprise, this time you get a sonic boomerang knocking your gun out of your hand. And Science Ninja Team got you, man. Ooh, look at June. Little panty shot right there. Um, but don't focus on that. They have thwarted the kidnapping and tell Ryu, keep flying around and avoid that sun dip. Devil Star Lady ain't had enough. She whips out a knife. And June is like, all right, this time I'm going to hit you with the yo-yo and my foot. And that takes care of it. Another panty shot. Good thing there's no detail on that. Good job, Chris Batista. And so tell us what we want to know. Where's the Galactic secret base? She can't tell them where the secret base is, but she can tell them where the scientists are being kept. So now we want to own the Galactic, which means there's only one thing to do. Who's got espionage skills? Who's got skills at disguise? Who's got skills at spying on folks? Yep, how appropriate. June will be going in as one of the devil stars to infiltrate the Galactor's secret base. If that don't sound just like the television show, I don't know what does. Wow to the adventures of Gotcha Man and facing off against the Galactor. Also, if you didn't know, Gotcha Man from Mad Cave Studios also has two books that tie in with this. One book, four issue series about the Galactor. Get some story and background on Bird Katza. And then there is another, another Gotcha Man related. Uh, book out right now simply called Ken and it is Ken's first solo adventure so you get Ken, you get gotcha man but you mostly get Ken so that's what's going on with the family of uh gotcha man books at mad cave they also got a flash gordon defenders of the earth thing going on um i might get back at y'all with that if that sounds like something y'all want to see but look here y'all that's it for now well, fret not, I'll be coming at you with another one of the other ones. And until I do, y'all be good. Be good, each other.